Hey, Lisa, this is Jessica from Peterson SEO. Thank you so much for reaching out to me for assistance and requesting your free audit video. So today we're going to go over just a few things. We're going to look at your online presence and we're going to audit your website, compare it to your competitors, and then just go around and give you a few tips that you can start using right away that's really going to help you and start driving in those customers. Okay, so let's get started on Google. So um, looking at Google here, when somebody puts a search in Google, generally there's going to be three different spots that they can go to. Um, the top spot is always reserved for ads. So you could have a um, regular Google ad. You could have um, Google guaranteed ads. So this is one position that you can own and be at the top of. Um, being a Google guaranteed is great because it shows authority. Google trusts your business and it also tells your customers that um, if anything goes wrong, Google will support them and help reimburse them some of that money. So this is one area um, that you can own. The second spot here is this Google map section. Now, this is a critical section because 30% of people go straight to the maps here and don't go anywhere else. So if you're not one of these top three, then you're sending all those leads to your competitors. So it's really important to not only have a Google My Business profile, but have it properly optimized so you can capture the top three position for each of your local buyer intent keywords. That's going to be pretty important. There are several factors that go into that. Um, part of it does have to do with how a website is performing, but one of the most critical components is your citations. Now that is simply the name of the business and address, phone number, and website, and listing those in a bunch of directory, directories like Yelp, Yellow Pages, Facebook, um, Facebook, Glassdoor, etc. Um, there are several other factors as well, including photos, updates, and reviews. Um, but it's going to be really critical for you um, to really work on optimizing your Google business profile. Now, the third section, and probably the most important section, is the organic section. That is this section here. 70% of people skip ads and the maps and go right here to the organic section. So this is the most critical position to be in. And you want to be on the first page for each of your major buyer intent keywords. So your number one organic competitor for water damage restoration and College Station is going to be Restoration 1. Now, before we get into looking at your competitor and website, I wanted to search your business as well and see how you're doing online. Because I didn't see you on the first page of Google. So I searched your business and location. I do see, um, as you did mention, you do have a Google My Business profile, which is good. Um, you have nine reviews. So you definitely want to work on getting more reviews. You want as many five-star reviews as you can get. You do have um, a little bit of information here, which is good. You want to make sure that you optimize this and use your local keywords in this content. You can have up to 750 words. So you want to optimize this space to target those keywords. You also need to make sure that you have more images than your competitors. And I'm not seeing any images other than a logo. So you're going to need to upload a ton of images and make sure that you have them geotagged and named with your keywords and your business information. Um, so that's going to be really important. Um, and I do see you are listed on Angie's list. You do have a couple citations, so that's good. Um, but you're going to need a lot more of those citations. You want to work on that. And I'm hoping you're not relying on Angie's list or anything like that for leads. Because these guys are super expensive. 
and they send the same bid to five contractors. Um, so it's really going to be important that you work on your organic so you don't have to rely on services like this. All right, so let's jump into your website. You have a good basic looking website. I like the color scheme. I like this click to call here. I like your logo. Um, I like that you have a separate page for each of your major services. This is critical. Um, your website is not ranked based on appearance. It's based on content and keywords. And Google wants a ton of content. And so writing that content around those keywords and having original content on every page is going to be very critical for you. Your home page should be a summary um, about your business as well as each of your major services. This allows you to focus that content around the keywords for each of these services. And you want to make sure you're going after the local keywords rather than national. And those are the keywords people are actively searching in Google in College Station for your services. If you focus on national keywords, just like water damage, um, even if you were to rank those, which they're a lot harder to rank, you're going to get more national traffic than local. And so you're going to get false metrics and that's not going to do a lot to help you. You really have to focus on those local keywords. You do have a little bit of content here, um, but you don't have any keywords other than your brand and um, you don't have quite enough keywords. I'm sorry, content. Google really likes to see a minimum of 1500 words or more, depending on what your competitors are doing. You always need to be better and do better than they are. Uh, it also says that you serve multiple counties. So it's going to be really important to dial this in. Um, you should really have separate pages for each of the service areas that you service. As long as they have keyword volume, you should have a page for them so you can be found in each of those areas in these counties for your services. Okay. And you also want to make sure that, as I mentioned, original content. So each of these service pages should have a good amount of content and it should be focused around local keywords separate from the keywords that you're targeting on your home page. People search differently and so you want to capitalize on those searches. So you really can focus on multiple keywords. Let's take a look at your competitor. Okay, your top competitor is Restoration One and yes, they are a franchise. But franchises are relatively easy to beat because franchisees don't have the opportunity that you have to modify the content on their website. Um, they, this is what they're given. Sometimes they can do blog articles and do workarounds, but um, they don't have the ability to add in a, extra content or focus on their own keywords. So, um, you have the ability to do better. Now these guys um, are going after local keywords and Bryant and College Station. You can see that they have a lot more content than you do. And so it's going to be really important that you have more content and the more interlinking pages than they have. And then support your website with SEO so you can be found online. So now if we take a look here, this is a program called AREFs and it tells us how your website is performing online. And as you can see here, you have a rating of a 0.2 out of 100 in Google's trust flow. And that means Google does not trust your website yet. And that's 100% based on your backlinks and referring domains. Now looking here, it looks like this possibly could be a new website, just a couple months old. Um, and so this could be part of your ranking as well, but majority of this ranking is because of your backlinks and referring domains. Now a referring domain is any website that provides your website with a link from their site to your site. And the backlink is just that physical link coming from another site. 
Now, these are going to be really critical. You do need a lot of these. You're going to need more than your competition, but not all are created equal. So you want to make sure you're only going after the good, high quality links that are directly related to your business and services that are do follows. Um, because you don't really have much content on your site, you haven't been indexed for any keywords and you're not getting anybody to your website. Your website should be like a virtual cash machine. So when you do optimize it correctly, have those content and keywords, you'll be able to rank those keywords and drive that traffic. If we look at your competitor, now, their website as a whole is a 71, but that's because they're a franchise. So if we look at just their section for College Station, they have a rating of a 12, and most of that is because of the power of their site. Um, they only have 67 backlinks and 12 referring domains. Of those, only six are due follow, so they actually only have six good quality links. Um, but they do have 19 keywords, and they're getting about 36 people to their website. So these guys should be fairly easy for you to beat by following these strategies. Now, if we look at their keywords, they are going for local keywords, and they have a decent amount of volume in College Station and Brian that are searching for these services every month. So this just shows you the potential that you're missing out on by not having your website optimized. Now, if you do follow these tips that I have provided you today, your online presence and your website, you have the opportunity to be number one in your area for each of your services. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I would love to get your feedback and hear what you thought. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to respond back to the message um, or give us a call here and we can chat some more. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Bye-bye.